So it don't matter what elevation you're at, what the air temperature at, none of that bullshit. People are full of crap. Uh, you want to turn your bike is warm. You've checked and made sure you have zero vacuum leaks. You can't check, you can't tune a bike with a freaking vacuum leak. Your bike has to be warm. You got your bike fired up. This is your idle. Open your slide a little bit so it's idling slightly high. Your baseline. You're trying to determine what size pilot jet you want to run, and it, that only controls zero to eight throttle on most carburetors, possibly up to a quarter throttle on others. Baseline on this particular carburetor is two two turns out from bottom. When you bottom it out, you, you just want to stop. You don't want to crank down on it. Just touch the seat, back it off, two full turns. Now your bike's running, it's warm, and you want to know what the hell size pilot jet do I use? It's real simple. This is an air mix screw. As you close it, you add fuel. Your bike's warm, it's idling slightly high, and you bump it in a quarter turn. Keep flipping the throttle. Two strokes don't like to idle. If it's not st sounding stumbly or rich, turn it another quarter turn blip in the throttle you want it to sound clean and crisp as you're closing this screw it should be getting rich sounding rough uh coughing as you're gassing it ultimately at the end of the day if you got it more than one turn out that's taking away air and adding fuel and if it's not running rough by one turn out that says you need a larger pilot jet and it's polar opposite if you have to turn it more than two turns out to get it to sound running clean you need to go down on your pilot jet so there you have it real simple stuff this screw solely determines what size pilot jet to use you want it to run crisp and clean at eight throttle at about a one and a half to two turns out. There you have it, straight from the horse's mouth. This shit's so simple, it's pathetic.